of songs they have sung for a thousand years. The hills fill my heart with the sound of music. My heart wants to sing every song. It is. When I was a little girl in my hometown of Leerstop, Wiffelberg, South Africa, I used to dream of fame and fortune, but most of all, most of all, I dreamed about love, amor. <laughs> that is why it was ever so devastating when, as a young girl, I was sitting in a tree reading a book. These two beautiful boys walked past and the one looked up and said, Oh, there's a chick in the tree? <laughs> Very devastating for a young teenager indeed. So while I was playing with my mother's makeup and jewelry in the beautiful town of Leerstorp, there was born La Diva Petite. When I was 12 years old, I played in the Sleeping Beauty in a school play. So I had two characters. I was the spirit of enchantment that took all the beautiful folks of my hometown out of the current day that was then many, many years ago. <laughs> and I had to transpose them to the Middle Ages where the Sleeping Beauty happened. And then I played another role. I played the evil witch. 
to this day, my personality kind of sums those two roles very well. <laughs> it sums it up very well. When I played the Spirit of Enchantment, I had to sing, and it was then that the people thought it was a teacher singing, not myself. So when I was 12 years old, I had the wonderful privilege to be recognized by my entire town as a solo artist for vocals, which was a really great thing for me. A few weeks after that, I was running into the moonlight as I did in those days. The town folk were very used to seeing this crazy girl running and singing and dancing in the wind. <laughs> And oh, it was such a beautiful moonlit evening and I was dancing in the moonlight. And when I turned around, oh, horror. Oh, horror, there on the belt, there just behind me sitting was the neighbor's son. And of course, the captain of the football team who was a very, very, very handsome boy. I, you know, and they saw me running like a crazy thing into the moonlight. What could I do? The music was calling me, yes. <laughs> In that night, I wrote my very first song. You are the moon and wind to me. You are the stars, the sky, the sea. You are the one who knows. Sadness inside me We're healing friend eternally You are the moon and wind to me You are the stars, the sky, the sea started it all started then but but um, I will I will get back to that for you for now let's jump a little bit into the future because that's a very important story uh, <laughs> when I was at varsity I read through my books uh, a few a few uh, months ago and in, in South Africa we've got the saying if somebody studied at Stellenbosch you know it because they tell you <laughs> so I studied at Stellenbosch and I studied drama and in my hostel, the yearbook, there was written of me, Peter Nelbart, when music fills the night, but also, of course, drama queen, which I didn't really completely understand because, you know, what's so dramatic about me? <laughs> Although there, 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 is some, there is some sense in that story because in my honours year, I had to give class to the first years in, in pronunciation. Now, this was never my main thing. When I sing, it's no problem. And when I speak, I tend to, you know, I don't know, I just speak fast. 
So I dressed up for this class. I had my hair gel back and I was very nice and thin back then. And I got into the class. There's about 40 or so first years. And I said to them, good morning, first years. Please, please sit quiet down. My name is Peter Nalbard and I'm an honor student in drama, regie and cabaret. And today we're going to do a lot of thinking. <laughs> of course, I didn't know much what I was talking about. So I told them to take a horizontal position with the floor and to take a deep breath. And when they come out, it will be like, oh, and those that smoke will not be able to do it as long as those that do not smoke. And I think they were getting the picture that something's very wrong here. <laughs> And um, then at some point, somebody was talking when I was talking and I screamed and I said, No, don't talk when I'm talking. You are disturbing my aura. My aura. <laughs> they were getting even more restless as the course continued. And what I basically did was to give them a like a pep talk, a very nice pep talk on how and what to do in the drama school and how to make it the best of your abilities. Because, you know, we do make all our contacts already when we're studying. And um, then at some point, one of my friends came in and his hair was white the previous day. And today it's black. And somebody piped up and said, wasn't your hair white yesterday? And I said, so what? Shit happens. Yesterday I was a man and today I'm a woman. <laughs> at that point, the class was completely disrupted. And of course, they, they just started laughing and walked out. And the next day, one of the honor students came to me and she said, what the hell did you tell the first years? The one wanted to know from me, were you really a man? <laughs> oh, my word. What could they do? I was Diva Divine and there was no stopping me. song by Afrikaans diva Lore Garag. Today I'm sharing songs with you tonight of diva influences in my life, which is from my show Diva Galore. Now we get back to the story about when I was playing netball. When I was about, no, I'm going to give my age away, when I was about 12 years old, the beautiful movie of Dirty Dancing came out. Oh my word. And we were all just so in love with Patrick Swayze. He was fantastic. And in the middle of the game, this, this girl playing next to me, my opponent, she turned to me and she said, listen, <clears throat> I've got to tell you, you look just like Patrick Swayze. Oh my word. I couldn't decide if I was insulted or if I was just, you know, really happy because I wanted to be a star. 
Okay. So now what we are taught in cabaret is that what you think about yourself, it does come out on your, your stages as well. What you have in your, your mind about yourself, you will portray to other people. So of course, for many years, I decided I look like a man. And then at some point, somebody told me I look like a man. And now I've got to tell you this story. And I've got to say I'm sorry before the time because, you know, my grandmother comes from the Northern Cape. She came from the Northern Cape in South Africa. And <clears throat> the people from the Northern Cape are wonderful and very honest and straightforward. And, and I was telling my mother this story very upset over the June holidays. And we were at the farm. And I didn't know my grandmother was listening until I heard this voice coming from the kitchen saying... <clears throat> You must ask him what he will use for a face when the horse wants its ass back. Of course, in Afrikaans, that would be van ripaatse poepel wil terugge. Many years later. I think my grandmother completely, completely lost faith that I would ever meet a husband. <laughs> and yet, I have no regrets. a South African national singing competition called Artika Fie Crescendo. And um, it was a wonderful experience. I uh, Not without drama, of course, because then I remember I had to go and fit a dress there in Santon City, Johannesburg, for my first ever music video of this song. And uh, I, I, I never understand. I don't know if it's different in the UK or Europe, but here in South Africa, where we have our fitting rooms, there is no soft murmuring music playing or good lighting to make you feel better about yourself. In fact, it's very harsh lighting and you feel fat. And you, you think to yourself when you're standing there, oh my, where did my, where did my underwear get this old? <laughs> so I was trying on the one dress after the other. My friend was bringing it. And this lady said to her friend in this very South African uh, accent next door, listen doll, this number 10, it's too big for me. I can't wear this number 10. It's too big. You better bring the eight. <laughs> the eight. It's because of everything I ate that I couldn't fit into anything. So I said to my friend, listen, Caroline, this number 16 is far too small. You better bring the 18. But of course, you don't have to look like a nail to be hammered. What would I do? I was diva supreme. And I did win that competition. Afrikaans. Jazz fund of the century. Ik zie nou wat ik wil, wat anders gaan ik gaan. Die woorden slaan toch vast, ze zangers in de kast. 
Alles net door jy keer op jy laat gaan Alles, alles, alles van ons aan Nee, nee, ek is siek en sat En nie mal te lang, daai voor my oor raad Nee, nee, bly toch net vig Moenier kom staan en vraag Sal nog swaai, let lijfskop op my Mense sal nog lach vir jou te knaal Genoeg, gewaal Ek het jou nie nodig nie Ek is my eie mens Eindeloos, soos jy sê Ek is onbegrens Ek het jou nie nodig nie Ek is nie gewaal But no diva's life is perfect without the influences of the other divas in her life. Because, you know, we don't go through this life untouched by each other. <laughs> in the current circumstances, we would prefer that. <laughs> oh, God bless us all. If at least we can touch each other's spirit, then all is not lost. So from my... One of my all-time favorite divas, Shirley Bassey, especially for you. I'd like to run away from you, but if you never found me, how would I? I would love to break the chain to put around me.
could stop me, diva divine or diva supreme or diva petite like I was. And in the turn of the universe, many things did happen. But a few years ago, I found my voice again. As, as I think we always do at some point, we do find our voices again. And I wrote a beautiful album called Deal I'll Dry, which I recorded with my friend Soot Milk. It's all available on my website, beautiful Afrikaans music. Um, we, with the influences of the Fadesta from Portugal is, is very well traced. I find a lot of collaboration between the Fadesta of Portugal and uh, Afrikaans Cabaret. We are emotional people, even when we don't always realize it. This is one of the beautiful songs that is from that album when it just says that in the end, after all is said and done, the most important thing in life still is love. <laughs> Thank you. 
你的爱。Thank you for coming to visit with me tonight. I so appreciate it. And I'll definitely be doing some more of this very unique South African humorous and uh, in, in, and, and inspirational music that, that really inspired my soul over the years. I want to finish with a medley and just wish you well. I will really, really wish you well. God bless. <laughs> the minute you walked in the joint I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender Good looking, so refined, say don't you wanna know what's going on in my mind Let me get right to the point I don't pop my coke for every man I see Big spender Spend a little time with me Don't you wanna find if you love, let me show you a good time. Let me show you a good time, baby. Big spender, spend a little time with me.